Hi guys, this is Topper Chef back again. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are gonna make pico de gallo. Okay, so for this we're gonna use two tomatoes, a small onion, but I took a big onion which is halved it, one jalapeno according to your uh, taste or spiciness, one avocado, a lime, which is very important, and some cilantro, salt, and pepper. Now, why do we have pico de gallo in, in Mexican food? This is the most important ingredient when making tacos. It gives out the real freshness of this thing and it just takes the tacos with the salsa to a whole different level. So you have to have freshly made pico de gallo, which is like in Indian language, they call it the kachumbar salad without the cucumbers, this is what it is. It has to be freshly made. Okay, so all you do is cut everything in small dices, just, so I'll show you the one with the onion. Cut in small dices, <clears throat> in the same way with all the vegetables. You don't wanna chop it too much. You don't wanna be very big also, so. Is this just right size and the uh, always fresh onions with cilantro oh my god it's just an amazing taste in, with lime in your tacos okay so just chop this a little bit and that's how it's gonna be so now with the tomatoes the same way you can cut it And the jalapeno, you can't have it very big. So just bite size so it doesn't spice it up too much. You know, otherwise, you can chop this little fine so it can blend well with the onion. So that's that. So chop all your tomatoes, the jalapeno like this. And the cilantro, we're gonna take a lot of cilantro, so cilantro needs to be chopped or crushed in there, like this. So let's chop all the vegetables and then I'll show you how we finish this. Okay, so to my friends in India, if they're not seeing what is an avocado, this is an avocado, so you just cut it, there's a big seed in the center, you go all the way around, and then you take this off like this. You can see the seed here. You can just pull this off and it comes off clean. Then, you watch your hand. And then, what you do is, just like a mango, just cut this in small cubes and then becomes nice dices right inside. Watch your knife, should not go all the way, way through. Now you take your spoon and then you scoop. Now you take your spoon and you scoop this nice and well and round and then mix it in there. So then you scoop everything out from the skin. Don't waste anything. This is such a healthy fruit. Okay, so that's your skin now, all empty. And do the same thing now with your other avocado slice. Okay, so now we've finished cutting our avocado, which is done here. So now it's now fresh juice of a lime. There you are. Just press it nicely in there. Get all the juice out. Okay. 
the freshness of this lime really gives this the smell, the cilantro, the salt and pepper in this. It makes it really tasty and fresh. You always have to make this half an hour before to keep this so all the salt and pepper permeates well into you can just break your cilantro like this and put it in this right here and now all we are doing going to do is just scoop this right through and let it sit inside now this will be such a nice you know this is like eating a bale or something like that so this is what it is when we are making pico de gallo and this is a must with all Mexican dishes or, or what is called street food, tacos and everything. When, so today is Tacos Tuesday so I have to make this thing fresh and keep it so we can enjoy the tacos with this with the salsas. Hi guys, this is our Pico de Gallo recipe. If you like this recipe, give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Topper Chef channel. Happy cooking!